welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you're new, I'm Nikki. I'm so glad to have you. Okay, so one of my loyal followers, you know who you are. She asked me to do a tutorial with the Morphe 35H Hotspot. Like, there we go. I hauled this recently in a makeup haul and if you're interested I'll have it linked in the description below. She wanted to see a colorful look with this palette. So I started looking at the palette and I have so many ideas. So I thought why not three looks on palette. The eyes are primed. Instead of setting this right this minute for this first look, I am going to take my new favorite brush. This is such a good brush. And when Jaclyn Hill says that she created this, I mean, I'm not saying that no other brand doesn't have this brush or whatever, but the girl is right. This brush is the bomb.com. And it is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH30. And it has this big, Oh, I'm in, obsessed with this brush. The color is called Siesta. And it's right here. And I'm gonna still put that, lay it all over my whole lid. And this is going to be what I use to set my concealer. Just all over, everywhere. It looks like almost the same color as my skin and the same color as the concealer. So for me, that's fabulous. I think I hear my husband coming. Sorry, that's my husband. You want to say hi since you're making so much noise? We're a little both tired because we both worked out. Come here, cutie. We chat and say hello. There he is. It's going to be babe's night out because I want to get a good transition color going it's right there it's a nice peachy color and put it in the crease okay and I'm pulling this all the way down into here like this As you can see there it's starting to show up <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with Coral Diving. This color right here. And right in there. Okay, I'm really going to blow this out now. When like there's nothing left. Just like that. Off the grid. This one right here. Okay, now this is going right into my crease. Right in there. The one that has coral diving and go back in and buff like that. My JH33. This is a smaller brush, real deal. Feel for your socket and then start to deposit the shade right there. bringing circular motions downward so that it doesn't go above, up in, you see. It stays here. I'm not dragging it up. So you see where it's at. I don't have hardly anything left on there. Let's start bringing it in. Just in my crease. 
And it's creating a beautiful blend. JH39. And it's like a little pencil brush. I usually use this under here, but I'm gonna use it to pack some color on this wave maker. This deep navy blue. I'm gonna start at the crease and I'm gonna start packing. Diagonally inward in the outer V. Most people call it an outer V, I call it a triangle. And I feel like if you're on your left eye, the triangle is going to face out this way. And that's what I always say. And it's like, if you look at it, that's what it looks like. Definitely looks like a triangle. And I'm going to blend that up into the crease color. Just like that. Ooh. First and packy motions into the crease. Bring it diagonally down and then back. And like I said, you're creating a triangle. I like to look at it as. Okay, I could have maybe not been recording that whole time. Because it's just my night. But what I did, if I didn't, where we put down the blue and the peach that we had here, which is coral diving, I took off the grid and heat up. Off the grid, heat up. And I took the two of those together and I blended in between to create this beautiful gradient. This beautiful beachfront color right here. This one. And oh, it is like the perfect deep aqua color, I guess. My Morphe M167. Right here. Okay. You see how it is like curved so well. It is so good. This is curved just like the crease of your eye, which makes a faux cut crease, as I call it, if you don't want to cut your crease and you want to bring product into the crease. This is the perfect brush to do it. No joke. I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus. And we're going right in the center. So if look straight ahead when you're doing this. Find. I need to look right here. Sorry, because my mirror's right here. Find the center where your pupil is and lay down the first strike. Oh my goodness. Do you see that color? Oh. Take it up into the crease. Go back and right, left, right, left, left, right, and drag it down. Wow. That looks like a pool. Look at the glimmer. Look at the, oh my gosh. Do you see that? Oh, wowee. That is so pretty. Uh, oh, I'm obsessed with that. Okay, once again, look straight ahead and lay it down right where your eye would be. Wow, look at that color. Oh my gosh. Go to the crease. Go left, right, left, right. And really just drag it down. Don't worry about if you get over into that side because they're all gonna blend anyways oh this is pretty yacht spot just this and i'm gonna spray it one time with fix plus because this is going to go into that blue but not all the way so you see where i this stopped i want this to be right here and down over. I want to work it in to that beautiful blue up into my crease and back down. Later on I will go back in at the very end of the corner and sharpen up with that really dark dark blue that we used. Again right here we get some more. Make sure you blend it into the other one. What do you see me doing there? And into the dark blue back here. Look at that gradient. Okay, 
and I'm back with lashes and I used House of Lashes Iconic. They are my favorite. So anyway, so what I want to do is deepen up the uh, band or what have you because I feel like that we need to do that. Put it into that wave maker color and put it right on top of that line. Which was wave maker. And I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line. Stopping it at about three quarters of the way in. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of coral diving and spot it. Close to that blue as I can get it. And really Blur it out, blow it out, whatever you want to call it. Bringing all of it into the back of the tail back here. Of my uh. I use Urban Decay's Deep End. Great lash because it has a small little applicator for all my miniature little hairs on the bottom. As you can see there. Yeah. I'm trying to pull them down. I just got it in my hair. Oh my gosh. I want to take a poppy. Is ripple effect right here. So I'm going to try this on the inner part of my inner corner first before I throw this on my brow bone because you just don't never know, okay? So and I'm trying to be very careful with this because we just spent a lot of time. The only color that I think that's going to really like make this just go wow is Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter and this is Crystal High. And I think in one of my other videos I said it was Illuminati or something. <laughs> Anyways, this is no longer available unless you buy it in the Crystal Caverns box set on wetandwild.com so if you have this great but this is what i'm going to use because i want this to really pop and look really pretty and this stuff is the bomb.com you ready for this see what i'm talking about it and i do not understand why they don't keep it because look at that insane I personally love it okay so that completes look number one from the Morphe 35H I love it let me scroll you in so you can see all of it Okay, I will see you tomorrow for look number two. Hey, welcome back to day two or look two. Start off with siesta. Shady behavior.
because we got some shady people up in here. Rally top right here. Now I don't want to go in too far because tonight I want to do a nice doe eye, wide eye effect. So I'm stopping right at the bugle, as you can see. And I wanna keep all of this clear of color if I can. A little bit's okay, but I'm not trying to drag it over too far. I want this here. The next color, Chillax. This a beautiful gun metal blackish color right here. I love this color. And then after I feel like there's nothing left on it. I'm going to drag it in to the crease. I'm going to leave my eye open. It's only a light wash goes. Okay, my camera died. I don't even know why. That's really weird. Too. And this color is so beautiful. It's like a taupe, but a silver, but I don't know. It's just gorgeous. And this is called Alone Time. And it's this one right here. Oh, it's so pretty. And I definitely want to marry those two colors together. So, put a little more here. To the crease, blend it in. And drag it over. And marry it with that. Blend it with that gunmetal color. Okay, my camera overheated, so I went ahead and put on my lashes and finished up my face. <laughs> so, anyways, let's finish the bottom lash, huh? I'll scroll you in. Just a smidge of Okay, so, this also is lipstick. Oh, it's so nice. Hmm. This is the lipstick from Morphe as well. It's called For Evs, if anybody's wondering. But as usual, I have everything listed down below. It makes the lips look hi, shanai nai. Dirty Harry. A flat diviner brush and put it into rally time. And this color all night long because it's as close to black as you can get. Because I don't want to put that. Um, I don't want to put this black down there because I can just see Fallout City now and it would be like horrendous. So I'm gonna take this brown color that I kind of just created. It's like a brown and a black, like I said. 
I'm only going three quarters of the way in. Just like that. I'm gonna go into rally time now without the other color and blur that last shade out. I'm gonna take it back here and connect it to the back of this. Shady behavior. Let me blow it out. Alone time. Becca Opal. And I'm going to put this at the high point and in the inner corner. All right, so I'm gonna use the MAC NC15 NW20. And this is the Studio Chromographic Pencil. As usual, I'll just use Garrett Great Lash. Okay, I think that uh, is it. <laughs> for look number two. Well, that completes look two, and I will see you for look three. Hey, welcome back. So we've made it to look three. So excited. So anyways, I thought that I would make the last look a fall look and um, maybe get the colors from this shirt. I don't know, we're gonna try. <laughs> so anyway, so again, here's the palette. And I'm thinking about using this color and these two colors and a combination of these. So we've worked our way around this whole palette. All right, my eyes are already primed, eyebrows are dead, and let's jump into it. This color right here, and this is Caffeine Buzz. Just wanted to clarify in case anybody was wondering. Oh my gosh. So I heard this story today and my husband had liked the comment and then I seen it or something. And I just, I'm like wondering if anybody heard about it. And I think, I think it was a YouTube. Oh shit. Let me scroll you in. Okay. <laughs> So anyways, I think that there was a, a Lifetime movie made about this. And maybe, like, it's just resurface, resurfacing and something's happened again. I don't know. I didn't listen to the full story. I just caught bits and pieces. But apparently, there is this couple that adopted a little Ukrainian girl. But come to find out, she's not a little girl after all. She is a woman suffering from dwarfism or has dwarfism and she's let on like she's a child and then she tried to kill the mother. Oh my God. I was like, that. wow, that is a horrible story. And I was just like, isn't there a, a Lifetime movie about that? Like, that's what I thought for some reason. I was like, my gosh, are you serious? Like, for real. And apparently when they first got her, when they went and adopt, adopted her, she was supposed to be like five years old or something like this. Well, they knew that they were getting her, getting her from Ukraine. And apparently she, had a period the first night they had her in the hotel room where they picked her up at the airport or something I don't know and so they knew obviously you know she's gonna be 12 13 whatever because she's having a menstrual cycle and they didn't care they still loved her regardless 
But my thing is, this whole story, and I'm just kind of like, did they not take her to school? Did they not take her to a doctor? I mean, wouldn't a doctor have been able to tell them, hey, the little girl you adopted has dwarfism and she's not a little girl. I mean, so the whole time you did not take her and realize that she was a kid. Like, I don't know, I'm confused. I guess maybe I should like really um, watch the video again or really, you know, pay attention to what's going on. on. But it's like a news, <laughs> sorry. It's like a news, um, it was just a, a news channel like that was reporting on it or whatever. And maybe I should research it more, but I'm just kind of like, okay, well, if I just adopted a little girl, a little girl, and she was bleeding, and okay, obviously it's a period, but why don't you just be a little bit concerned and be like, okay, we need to take this child to the hospital. I mean, because was didn't she need to get certain vaccinations anyways? Like, I, don't, I just don't understand. I don't, it's, it's hard for me to fathom. Like, I understand. She tried to kill her. She was supposedly put, supposed to put pine salt in her coffee and the mother, fa like, the mother caught her doing it or something. Which, that's, you know, hearsay anyways. But, still, the whole thing is just, I mean, it's, it's crazy, it's sad, and it's spooky. <laughs> But I just don't understand how you had this girl for so many years, but yet your doctor never told you she was suffering from dwarfism? Come on. Really? Okay. I mean, was she so evil that she went and, like, took the her records? Like, the doctor started and the doctor just was stupid and just didn't know. I don't know. It just really floors me. I'm like, whatever. I'm like, I don't believe this. <laughs> I mean, I don't believe that it didn't happen, but how ignorant are some people, right? Okay, anyways. <laughs> the next color I'm going to go into. Spotted. Right here. This one. I just thought I'd ask you guys, see if you'd heard about it, what your thoughts on the situation were. <laughs> um, you know, what do you think? I don't know, I just, it, I know we're supposed to be talking about makeup, but you're just kind of like, it really does blow my mind that you seriously didn't know that you, that you seriously didn't know that you had a little person. I mean, for real, like I don't understand. And I mean, I don't know. Like I just and why not take her straight to the doctor? I mean, even even if you thought, okay, well. Yes, I adopted her, and obviously they lied about her age, but that's fine. I'm still gonna love her. But wouldn't you just want to make sure? Like, my child would went straight to the hospital. That's all I know. <laughs> even if it was, even if she was 13. But like, they're saying like she's like 30. Like they're saying like she's my husband's age, and he's 31. So they like said like, oh, like that she would be 30 because she was born in eight, 89. And I was like, are you serious? Like, this, that's, whatever. I don't know. That's just insane to me. It's like, how, how do people just, I don't know. Whatever. I mean, you know, thank God nobody got hurt. Thank God she didn't get hurt, little girl. Well, I guess she's not a little girl, she's a woman. Oh, and, and the twist about it was, that's the other thing. She was in love with the dad, and that's why she was trying to kill off the mom. And I swear this was a Lifetime movie. I, just, I swear it was. And I really need to look it up and check it out and because I know that I'm pretty sure my mom and I watched that like several years ago so I'm thinking is this like old news or what's going on with this you know like why are they bringing it back up again I don't know <laughs> oh we know how uh, people like to drag shit out you know, even here in the beauty world. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the first color again, the um, Caffeine Buzz. Which reminds me, I'd like to have some coffee right now. I just love my coffee. And I'm gonna just mesh 
those two colors. I'm not, I don't know why I say mesh, but I mean blend. I'm gonna blend those two colors. Let me scroll you in just a little bit more. I feel like you're too far away. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Oh, it's like a mustard meets a orange. Ooh, very fall. What do you think? Yeah, this one, off the grid. So I wanna go here in the, up into the crease and here on the out skirt. And I'm doing this only because I do not want that burgundy color to stain my eyelid. Party on. Just like that, hold your eye up while you're doing it. And then take it back. I'm gonna take it again, the same color on a different brush because I want to fill in the V. The outer corner, the V. This alter ego. We're gonna go in with it first. This one. Brush, as you can see there. And I'm gonna spritz it close. And then I'm going to put it not exactly on the end here, but like, okay, you see where I stopped it? So I'm gonna put it from here to about here, but not going in the very outer V. So like right here, pull it down. So see, this will blend into that color that I've just laid down before. Go left and right, up into the crease and over, that change. That still kills me. I don't get why it's that color. Why they called it that. This one. Right here. Of course, here on the inner. Ooh! Oh my, my, my. Okay. <laughs> I checked it just to make sure. <laughs> I don't know, my camera's overheating or something, I don't know. Okay, so I went ahead and finished this eye while my camera was cooling down, whatever. So the last thing that we need to do is go in with this yellow here. Okay guys, um, so the three looks, um, we were working on it. I stopped in the middle to do a Morphe, um, this foundation and I didn't like it and immediately I started having a reaction. Um, all of my little tiny rosacea bumps that were almost gone started to blister and I've gotten so red and so dry. I mean, I don't even know what's going on. I can't, my Clinique won't even cover how red I am right here. So I'm gonna try to just finish the bottom lash without doing the rest of my face because I'm on fire and I'm hurting and I'm about to cry. So anyways, I'm gonna finish up the bottom just to finish the look and get a picture and then I will, um, I don't even know. <laughs> I'll scroll you in. Ugh, it hurts so bad. I get so bad right now. And you guys know that my Clinique will cover my rosacea and look at it, it's just, I do not recommend that product at all. Go into all night long and finish under here real quick. I'm doing so much pain I can't figure out what I'm doing. Oh God, it's burning. And I have to go wash my face again to get this shit off. I don't have to be like laying in bed with ice packs or something. Um, I'm taking my little Jaclyn Hill 39, JH39. And I'm gonna put it into Caffeine Buzz. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and blow that out. I got my siesta right here. Let me scroll you in so you can see it. Okay, and this completes the eye look. So disappointed. Okay. I hope you enjoyed my three looks, one palette. And if you did, make sure you subscribe. And I'm sorry that the end of my video turned out this way. I love you guys. And thank you so much. Bye.